Today, Greta's challenge is a thing we've done before with women, but today yes. we are going to be dressing Zach. First time. It's something we call spin for your style. I don't really understand it, so I'll let Greta explain. <laughs> well, I know you've done this on the show. I've not done it, so I'm psyched, because this is my first time. But take a look. So this is the slot like graphic and okay. so basically what's going to happen is it's going to we're going to spin it he's going to hit that button we're going to spin it it's going to he's going to it's going to tell me place you're going who oh, you're going popular. and how Look you want to feel so do. those oh, are the man. three things so where you're going who Zach, you're going you go with wait Zach's uh, not going to his own wedding right <laughs> <laughs> you know, we never know we never so basically it sets up a situation that I am going to build his style for that event that oh I get it and, and he's he going to be feel. with his boss yes, that's or a his better way Exactly, exactly. Gotcha. So that's what we're going to pick from here. I'm going to run back because Bonobos hooked us up. Yep. And I'm going to actually style on the spot. Spin that thing. Hit the, uh, the button. What do we get? Happy hour on a date. Comfy? A comfy Whoa. date? Oh. How did it go with Zach? So great. I can't wait to show you. Can we call him out? Yeah, sure. Come, Come on, on out, Zach. Zach. I want to show. Eight dates. Oh, that's great. A wedding to go to with his buddies, which he's actually doing in real life, he said, in a few weeks. Yes. And the vibe of the look to be hip. Yes. Did you accomplish it? Yes, I have to tell you, this I had to think about, though, more than the other, because when you have a wedding, you know, you, you definitely have certain standards to be wedding level dressed, right? right. Yep. But at the same time, now, with all of these different dress codes, this gave me a real opportunity to show you, when you get one of those invites that says festive or oh, funky yeah. or dress, this, uh, yeah. Dre Michael J. Fox and Tracy Pollan do this for their fundraiser every year. It says dress foxy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that could mean anything. I get calls all the time and texts like, what does Foxy mean? Right, Not right, from right. you, but everyone right, else. Right. So I thought this was a great way to show how to put a twist like hip into something that's clearly a formal event. Okay, cool. All right. Come on out there. All right. Look, did you see these turn sideways? They're like tux pants. See the line down the side? Good girl. She did you dig this that. look? Oh, I really like this. Yeah, I feel like pretty fresh in this. And yeah. Hip, really so, hip. really cool. Are you going to wear this to the actual wedding? Uh, if you give it to me, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, Zach. We're going to dress you and then make you leave the clothes here. We decided to give you the layaway makeover segment. <laughs> No, seriously, you feel comfortable enough, you would definitely Absolutely. wear this with your friends. Yeah, okay. I feel like this is like, you know, it, it sticks out a lot. It's, it's a pretty creative look, but it's something that I feel comfortable in still, but I definitely feel pretty sharp in it. Greta, this is I something. Will, thank you. I I'm love I'm showing this off. Look. How great, right? Love I mean, it. the reason I love it too, Rachel, is it makes sense. In other words, guys, for the longest time, we've always said, oh, they all, the both pieces have to match. It's got to be a tuxedo. It's got to be a suit. No, it doesn't. That doesn't actually have to happen. It still can be formal, wedding appropriate, you know, attire if he breaks it up and has a sport jacket with a pant. You know, if you know that that wedding's not black tie, you can actually put your own style spin on it. No pun intended. <laughs> and I did that because I also wanted to reuse. You guys know all your husbands and boyfriends and brothers and sisters. They have a tuxedo pant stuck in the yeah. back of their closet. Yeah. They haven't worn for years. Well, we discussed it, and I said, hey, Zach, if you've got one of those with that little stripe, don't be afraid to put that with a sport jacket. Coordinate it like we did here. And this looks actually, very formal. It right, really does. And he could wear yeah. this with jeans. The other thing, Rachel, is a little pattern. You can see, again, I hit it with color because I wanted to show that he could wear something with a little bit more of a raised color palette by adding the blue, adding a little bit of the lavender, and then print on prints. This color is looks checks, great on and this has a really smaller does. print, okay. and that's I'm a glad really you're comfortable great way. Trying and color. he didn't need Absolutely. a tie. Yeah. We decided it was, didn't need a tie. It was not in that. So, obviously, obvious to all of us except Zach, obviously he gets to keep all of the great clothes that they styled today. <laughs> but, Thank you. Bonobos also is giving you an extra $1,000 gift card to buy more cool clothes. <laughs>